Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So after seeing two pages in the shop a few weeks ago, we've all been left wondering if there was going to be two pages ever again. Well, we've always wondered until this week. When there was in fact two pages in the premium shop this week, shortly after the refresh, the devs did post in their Discord. And Rachel did say, hey, Valley Villagers, as many have noticed, we're running another eight premium shop rotation this week. As we continue to iterate on the features, don't hesitate to leave your feedback on how you feel about this change. And it gives you the specific room that you need to go and give that feedback on. So we all do need to give our feedback on this one. So leave your comments down below on your thoughts. Do you like just the one page? Do you think the two pages is a little overwhelming for you? Or do you like having the two pages for a little bit more of an option? Let me know in the comments down below. So let's take a look at what's in the shop this week and I'll take you through each of the items and show you actually what they look like in game and if they're any good or if they're not. So as you can see, there is two pages this week. On the first page, we do have the new turning red ski outfit. And in with this, you will get the red panda ski suit, the red panda ski pack and the red panda ski helmet, which are really nice items. I do actually like them. So let's have a look at what they look like in game. So here we have the full outfit. So it is the three separate outfits. You've got the backpack, you've got the helmet and the actual outfit. And if you have a look attached on the belt is a Tamagotchi. For anybody that's old school like me will know just what this is. I do miss a Tamagotchi and I would love to have another one. But this is the turning red ski outfit, which I really do like. It's pretty cool. So next up is the Winter Palace and this has returned to the shop. This is 3,700 Moonstones um, and the ski one, sorry, was 1,500. But the Winter Palace is amazing. Um, I really, really do like the Winter Palace. I got this last time, so I'm happy to see that this is back in the shop. So this is what the actual palace looks like. It is gorgeous. And then if you change your time to night and then come over and interact with it, and then stand a little bit of a pace away from it, you will see that it does have beautiful fireworks with it and it is absolutely gorgeous. I would highly recommend getting this house skin. It is blooming gorgeous. I absolutely love it. But that is the Winter Palace right here, guys. Next up, we have the Nefarious Setback, which is lovely. I did get these first time round, just purely because they were purple. I really did enjoy these. So to equip these, you are going to need to go to your wardrobe and then go to your tools and then just select all of the ones that you want. So the phone, you're just going to get the green screen. So once you've equipped them, you can then show them off. So I've actually got some <laughs> potions on, so you can't really see it quite well. But that is the watering can. Then we do have the shovel, which is beautiful. And then the fishing rod. Again, I do have a potion on at the moment, so you can't quite see that one. And then we have the pickaxe. I am always using potions. But those are the tools that you can get um, in the premium shop this week. And the Nefarious set is worth 3,750 Moonstones. The next one then is the Illuminated Deer Decoration. This one only costs you 1,000 Moonstones. And it is just the single item, but it is really, really nice. I use this in qu quite a lot of my Winter Dream Snaps just recently. And then this is what the Illuminated Deers look like. And again, if you do change to nighttime, they will glow up. And they do look really, really pretty. So I would highly recommend getting these ones. Okay, so on to page two then, what do we get? So we've got the Turning Red Trio back, which is 1,500 Moonstones. And within this, you get do get the Panda Carving Wooden Partition, the Blossoming Cherry Tree, and the red panda paper lantern, which are really nice items. So what do they look like in the shop? And these are worth 1,500 moonstones. 
So this is what they look like in game. So you have the cherry blossom tree there, the paper lantern, and of course the partition, which if you do put against the wall, it turns into a window, which is amazing. I do like these. And this is the famous blossom tree that you saw in a lot of the dream snaps recently. So, but these are the lovely items. I do like them. They are so, so cute. All right, next up in the shop is the Whimsical Blue Companion Pack. Now, I don't have this because I just don't see... I've got so many companions. I don't see the use of these ones. They are very, very cute and they're very nice. But for me personally, I'm just not sure I would use them. I'm still on the fence. I still have a week to decide on whether I'm going to get these or not but I thought I'd just show you them in here anyway. So they will look like just exactly the same as a squirrel, but it will be whimsical, the same as the crocodile, the raven, and the raccoon. And there is another pack as well. There is a pack too. And these are 2,000 moonstones for all four of them. The next one on the list is the Field Day Assemble, which is 1,200 moonstones. And this does come with the Monster Ink Scarer overalls, which is going to be so great for when Mike and Sully do arrive in the next few weeks or days. We still don't know. And then we do have the brown military jacket from Racket Ralph. And then we have the toy cowboy watch. So these all come at 1,200 moonstones. So let's have a look at what they look like in game. So this is what the Scarra outfit looks like. It's got things on its side here. I don't know what these are. These little, little pouches. Um, it's like a little dungaree set. It is a really, really cute. I do like that. And then we do have the jacket. The brown military jacket, which looks like this. So it has all of the like patches on it from Wreck-It Ralph. And then, of course, we have the toy cowboy watch just there so that is the field day assemble the next one is the art decor poster collection there's a couple of other collections of this um but this week we have got the art decor of tiana we've got the art decor of elsa and we've got the art decor of woody and this is 1200 moonstones so let's have a look at what these look like in game and here we have them. So this is what they look like in game. They're pretty big, but I really do like them. So these are the art decor art pieces. So that is everything that you get in the shop this week and what it looks like apart from the whimsical because I'm still on the fence about buying them. But I hope this helps you decide on whether you would like to purchase these items or save your moonstones so that is everything that comes in the premium shop so don't forget to leave your feedback either on this channel and i will pass it on to the developers myself or just hop into their discord and post it in the appropriate channel to let them know whether you do like just to have one page in the premium shop or you really like to have the two pages in the premium shop it is so nice for the developers to actually ask us these things on what we like in our game. Um, and they're really working towards that, which is a really, really nice to see. But that is it for this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, do leave a like. It really does help the channel grow. And of course, if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe. There is only 20% of you that are actually subscribed to the channel. If you do like my videos, please do double check that you are subscribed to the channel. Just hit that button. It's free to do and it would really mean the world to me. I hope you have the most wonderful rest of your day, guys. And fingers crossed for some more news later today. I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.